In this video, we are going to discuss principle of reversibility or rather principle of reversibility of light, which says that the path of a ray of light is reversible. Now, what do we understand by this? Let us look at this example. So we have medium one and medium number two, and we have a ray of light being incident from medium one along AO, making an angle of incidence equal to I. And we see that the ray of light is getting refracted along OB, making an angle of refraction equal to R. And you can make out from the picture that medium one is the rarer medium and medium two is the denser medium in our example here. So, when refraction takes place from medium 1 to medium 2, the refractive index of medium 2 with respect to medium 1 is given by mu 2 1, the refractive index of the second medium with respect to first, which is equal to sine of angle of incidence divided by the sine of angle of refraction from the definition okay, of refractive index or something called Snell's law. We get this. So consider this our equation 1, which is the case when refraction takes place from medium 1 to medium 2. Now for the same pair of media concerned, that is for the same two given media, if refraction takes place from medium 2 to medium 1, that is from the denser medium to the rarer medium in our example, which means if the ray of light is being incident along is being incident along B O at an angle of incidence equal to R, then principle of reversibility requires that the ray of light has to get refracted along O A along this direction, making an angle of refraction equal to I. Therefore, Principle of reversibility tells us that for the same two given media, if BO now is the incident ray such that R is the angle of incidence, then the ray of light has to get refracted along OA such that angle I is the angle of refraction now. It has to get refracted along this direction, that is the direction of OA and in no other direction. And this is what we see to be true in reality also. Hence, for refraction taking place from medium 2 to medium 1, the refractive index of medium 1 with respect to medium 2 is given by mu 1 2 because it's like medium 1 is the second medium now, remember. So the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium is given by sine of the angle of incidence, R is the angle of incidence now, divided by sine of angle of refraction, I is the angle of refraction, remember, for refraction taking place from the second medium to the first medium. So this is our equation 2 now. Therefore, from equations 1 and 2, what we get is, when we multiply equations 1 and 2, we get mu 2 1 into mu 1 2 equal to sin i by sin r into sin r by sin i. Okay, so which therefore gives us mu 2 1 into mu 1 2 is equal to 1. Thereby we get to see that the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium is equal to 1 upon refractive index of the first medium with respect to the second or for that matter mu 1 2 is equal to 1 upon mu 2 1 that is the refractive index of the first medium with respect to the second is the reciprocal of the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first since refractive index of glass with respect to air given by mu g a refractive index of glass with respect to air is 3 by 2 then the refractive index of air with respect to glass that is mu a g from principle of reversibility is equal to 1 upon mu g a that is refractive index of air with respect to glass is a reciprocal of refractive index of glass with respect to air so which is equal to 1 upon 3 by 2 which therefore comes out to be 2 by 3 
So therefore, when we know the refractive index of glass with respect to air, okay, using principle of reversibility, we can easily get the refractive index of air with respect to glass. Now, this is not just true for these two pair of media concerned, it is true for any other pair of media concerned. And this we get from the principle of reversibility.